Now that everyone knows you're a parcel mouth, they've convinced you're the heir of Slytherin. You don't think it's me, do you? Of course not. There's no way you're the heir, Harry. Thanks. We need to finish the Polyjuice Potion and prove that Malfoy's the heir of Slytherin. That way we can clear your name. Ron, did you manage to get some hair from Crab and Goyle? Yes, I did. But I'm telling you, it wasn't easy. OK, I'm sure I've done everything right. Once you've drunk the potion, there won't be much time before we turn back. Now what? We each have some of the potion, add the hairs and then drink it. I'm still not sure about this. Ready? Ready? As I'll ever be. One, two, three. Are you two all right? Yeah, unbelievable. Hermione, are you okay? Fine, I'm fine. Go on without me. Well, if you're sure, we'll meet you back here later. Hermione said that we may have some difficulty moving because Crab and Goo are bigger than us. Okay. I won't try jumping across any gap. We'd better get going before the effects of the Polyjuice Potion run out. We need to find out where the Slivery Common Room is. I hope we can find someone to follow. There's a Slivery now. Quick! Follow him and don't lose sight of him! Oof.
you are. Have you two been pigging out in the Great Hall all this time? How did you know? People seem to think that Saint Potter, the Mudblood's friend, is the heir of Slytherin. I wish I knew who it really is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a Mudblood died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Get out! This is a girl's bathroom! No boys allowed in here! She's gone mental! Change the flying objects before they hit you! Funny as throwing a book at me. Let's all throw books at Myrtle because she can't feel it. What a lovely game, I don't think. Here, why don't you have it? I'm glad we changed back. I didn't like being crab one bit. I wonder where Hermione went. I hope nothing went wrong with her potion. Harry, I'm very displeased that you missed my new defense against the Dark Arts class. To be a successful wizard, you have to study with the best. Come along to my office for a private lesson. Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. Looks like you're still Lockhart's number one student. Remember that Lockhart's office is in the lower castle. I thought it was bad enough with everyone thinking I was the heir of Slytherin. A private lesson with Lockhart is much worse. I'm going to see if I can find Hermione. I wonder what went wrong with her potion and where she went. Everyone's saying that Potter's the heir of Slytherin. Potter's a parcel mouth. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Guess what, Harry? Hermione's in the hospital wing. The polyjuice potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. 
I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. Ah, Harry, you finally made it. Terrible news about young Mr. Creevy being petrified, not to mention poor Mrs. Norris. No need to worry, though, as your defense against the dark arts teacher, I'll save the day. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times and you will learn Verdimilius Duo. Are you ready? Splendid! 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 That's the easy one. Ready now? Perfection! 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 One more to go. Get ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Splendid. Perfection. You've earned a passable grade. Well done. If you come back later, you can try for a better grade and earn a special prize. Time to put the spell you've learned to practical use. Now, Harry, hold down the X button to cast a fully charged Verdimilius Duo spell. Once cast, the spell will show you objects hidden by dark magic. Use what you find to leave the room. Excellent, Harry! I knew you would do it! I'll have to watch myself in a few years' time, or you'll be stealing my job. Now, run along. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I have something very special planned. The race for the House Cup continues. Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff? Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry! 
How many cards have you received? Uh, so far, I've only received um, 46. Hmm, but the day is still young. I've arranged a little surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card-carrying cupids! Oh, you, Harry Potter, stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's cards. Ugh, keep away from me. Harry flicked through the blank pages of the diary. Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first page. Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, My name is Harry Potter. Then at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle, and then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years ago, the chamber was opened and a girl was killed. I caught the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O. K. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind, and then the diary seemed to open up and Harry was pitched head first into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. Peering through a crack made by an open door was a boy of about 16. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, the owner of the diary. Then Harry heard someone speaking in a low whisper. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rubeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him! He wouldn't! He never! And then 
From out of the box came something that made Harry let out a long, piercing scream, unheard by anyone. A vast, low-slung, hairy body and a tangle of black legs, a gleam of many eyes and a pair of razor-sharp pincers. The thing scuttled away, tearing up the corridor and out of sight. No! The scene whirled. The darkness became complete, and Harry landed with a crash. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. It was Hagrid, Ron! Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago! 